Hello viewers, have a good day. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to prepare urban heat island by using land surface temperature of a less land surface temperature of a particular urban center. So this is the LST of a particular urban center that is Kojibar urban center. So on the basis of land surface temperature, we can perform urban heat island. But in this tutorial, here I will explain only how to prepare urban heat island index and how to interpret it but if you don't know how to prepare how to do the land surface temperature you can see my previous tutorial i already uploaded uh, land surface temperature in qgis and as well as arcgis in different land surface images land set series satellite image so at first before going to prepare lens uh, urban heat island index you should know the calculation so this is the formula of urban heat island so urban heat island formula is t minus t minimum divided by t minimum that means you can see here t means land surface temperature okay land surface temperature of a particular area minus land surface temperature that means minimum land surface temperature divided by the minimum land surface temperature so this is very simple formula that means land surface temperature minus minimum land surface temperature divided by minimum land surface temperature so by this formula we can easily calculate urban heat island of a particular area so for that again go to this uh, arcgis and from the arc toolbox you should go the spatial analysis tool and here you can see map algebra and raster calculator and we'll perform this urban heat island within this raster calculation table so according to our formula you can see now lst or i can easily write here lst lst minus you can write lst minimum divided by lst minimum so it is better to understand okay so lst minus minimum lst divided by minimum lst so you can see this is the lst 2022 so double click here and i can give bracket first bracket then lst minus or you can see here this is the minus then lst minimum so where i can found lst minimum so you can see a layer right click here one lst 2022 select one and right click right click then go to properties and then go to shorts if i go here then you can see here the minimum maximum mean and star division value of the lst so from here i should select only this minimum value okay so just click here and copy it so it is actually it contain within the source okay this minimum maximum mean and standard deviation value of lst then cancel it then paste it here then bracket close divided by again paste because according to our formula you can see here lst minus lst minimum divided by lst minimum okay then come again here now you should assign your output register so click here and i can write here urban urban heat island but okay or i can write here urban heat urban heat So now you should assign your output raster, click here and I have a folder that is LST update work and here I want to write 
urban heat island dot tif so extension should be tif then click on save and click on ok process complete and you can see here the value lowest value is 0 and maximum value 0 0.57 so then click here go to properties now i actually want to assign color then go to symbology from drop down menu you can select yes i can select which one this red versus blue and i can also use the hill shift so it actually showing good then okay and you can uncheck the lst okay now you can see here the red color showing the higher r1 heat island areas on the other hand blue color showing the lower heat island areas that means the lower the the red color areas showing the higher probability of r1 heat island areas and the the sky color showing the lower probability of the r1 heat island on not only that you can also see from this map the from the core of the map to the surrounding area so you can see the intensity of red color or shading of red color gradually decrease because this is the main urban center that is why this area should be showing the uh, the uh, the higher values of urban heat island not only that you can also uh, do another thing i want to show so this is a also r1 heat island map of this area and you can classify it r1 heat island in a different group on the basis or you can uh, classify it your range like very high high moderate low and no r1 heat island areas so how can we do that you can just go here go to properties and after that you can go to classify it and you can class two three or five class on the basis of your uh, requirement and after that you can also assign the, the color and click here you can also apply the hill shade then click and apply and okay now you can see the r1 heat element categories into total five class so red color showing the r1 heat element areas where the highest land surface temperature actually observed on the other end blue and dear dark blue showing the lower r1 heat island area that means this area far from the r1 heat areas and where the land surface temperature also uh, you can say observed minimum so thank you for watching and keep subscribe my channel for more video and more update thank you thank you again